our Bryan Street station, we now have a contract with the contractor signed and we give them notice to proceed on July 1st. Uh, they've actually done some preliminary work already with the architects and they have 275 days from July 1st to complete the project, which I believe takes us to April 2nd of 2018, should be a completion date for that station. Once it's completed, we'll reopen that station and we'll function out of that station just like we did in the past. The fire marshal's office has actually been located to 227 North Broadway. Uh, they won't be back at that station as they were in the past and that will be a strictly uh, response suppression station after, after uh, it reopens. realized that the Bryan Street station was going to be closed for an extended period of time, we realized we knew we needed to get uh, response capability on the east side of town because that the station two covers our east side of town. So we went in uh, after uh, REACT had vacated this station. They'd been in it since we closed it in 1999. Uh, we went in. It needed quite a bit of work to be habitable. So we went in and, and uh, brought a contractor in to do that work for us and bring it up to, to a livable standard for our guys. And uh, once that was done, we've reoccupied that station with two men in a brush pumper so they can first response out, out on the east side of town. To get the Main Street station going, we didn't have to tear, tear out, uh, tear it down to the bare structure or anything like that, but it just, we had to remove a few walls that had been added that weren't, did, that made it uh, not working for, uh, didn't work for us as far as our living space. And it just needed to be cl really cleaned up. The, the roof needed to be uh, patched, the roof was leaking, the air conditioning didn't work, uh, the electrical needed to be upgraded in a few places. So basically it cleaned up, it was in pretty rough shape. The day-to-day -day for these men out here at this station is very similar to the other stations. Obviously, it's a much smaller building than we're, uh, they have. A lot of these guys have never worked in that station before it closed. But uh, the day-to-day -day is pretty much the same as the other two stations. They just they uh, do the training and then they'll respond to uh, emergencies as needed. This station gives us a response capability on the east side of town. Station 1 and Station 3. Station 3 is on the north side of town and it covers pretty much everything Independence North. Uh, station 1 covers any, pretty much everything from Independence South. Station 2 has always been our east side station, so that's what this station gives us. It gives us capability of shorter response times on the east side of town. I've stayed in this station. I was never stationed here, but I did uh, fill in a few shifts at this station. Would have been probably 1997, 98 time frame. My most of my memories come from this station. My dad worked here, uh, coming here as a kid, uh, bringing him groceries and stuff. Back then, the guys didn't didn't leave the station, so we, my mom and uh, mom and I, would bring him groceries and and come over here. He used to have a Coke machine inside there. Come over and get a Coke and and uh, and and that kind of thing. So that's mostly my memories at this station is when I was a kid coming over here. My dad was stationed here. He worked here a lot throughout his career. He, he liked working at substations and, and uh, so I remember coming out here and, and you, it, you could visit in the evenings with, with him and whoever he was working with. It was always a, a two-man station. So yeah, it, it, it kind of planted the seed in my head of, you know, at the, at the time I don't think I really thought about it, but now, uh, you know, it's a lot of vivid memories. I remember being around the other firemen and uh, uh, the smell of them cooking and the, you know, that kind of thing. The station always had a uh, unique smell to it of uh, kind of <laughs> truck grease and food. It always, you know, the fire stations have a unique kind of thing. So yeah, a lot of memories, a lot of neat memories. Our purpose in the fire department, I believe, is, is, is mostly to serve the, serve the community. Customer service is something we really believe in. That's, uh, we, our, our mission, of course, starts with the fire response and fire suppression and fire prevention activities, but it goes a lot bigger than that. We, we also run medical emergencies, hazardous materials, rescue, and there's pretty much, well, I like to call us a, we're a safety net. There's nothing really, you, don't, you call the fire department when nobody else knows what to do with, with something. And I believe that, and uh, that's, that's something we, uh, we take pride in, that uh, there's really not anything that doesn't fit when you call us. We'll take care of it. These guys, they're problem solvers, and they do a good job at that. And uh, so I, that's, that's really our mission is to, is when you call us, hopefully we can prevent the problem, but if, it, if it's already happened, our job is to get there and mitigate it and, and protect the lives and property to the best extent possible. 
the station on Main Street is open temporarily until the Bryan Street station reopens, but we do, it's a, all of our stations, our community stations, uh, we, we, we enjoy when people come by and visit, come stop and visit with the firemen. If you see the doors up, it means they're, that means they're there. Uh, stop in and, and say hi to them. That's, it's, uh, we, we really uh, enjoy meeting the, meeting the citizens and meeting our, our customers. That's, that's who we, how we look at them. Citizens are our customers, so we uh, encourage people to stop by the stations.